But with a Republican in the White House and possibly uh, Republicans maintaining control of Senate, to me, the biggest outcome, the biggest thing at stake for Democrats taking control of the House is that they could start doing oversight of President Trump in the White House. I think oversight is a big, big part of what will happen. But I, I mean, think if they take oh, if they take the House, if, yes. if Democrats take back the House, oversight is a big part of what will happen. But I think everything grinds to a halt and is what you wind up seeing. And you know what? Like a lot of people will say that that's how the system was set up, that people want checks and balances. But in this new culture we're in, I'm not sure there are enough people willing to compromise, willing to work together to make the legislative body actually work. You'll see the gears grind to an absolute halt, most likely, unless President Trump decides that uh, he's going to cry uncle a little bit and wind up compromising. But Mara, what does the oversight part of it mean to you? Like, what do you think that means in terms of what Democrats focus on and, and, and ask about? Right. If we're talking about what happens if the Democrats take the House back, I agree. Legislation grinds to a halt, oversight begins. I think that not only will there be a big investigation into all of the things that Bob Mueller is looking into, and at some point we're going to get a report from him, but there are going to be a lot of other investigations. There's going to be an investigation of whether Donald Trump's family and Donald Trump himself has been making money off the presidency. We're going to talk about his tax returns. There are going to be dozens and dozens of investigations. Um, That is what subpoena power means when you're in the majority. So for the White House, life will change immediately. Every single person in the White House is going to be potentially the subject of an investigation by a Democratic House. Yeah, and and one thing that struck me over the last few days, I've been talking to a lot of top House Democrats about what oversight actually means. And uh, several of them, the first thing that they mentioned wasn't Mueller. Uh, It it was actually, uh, we want to take a look at the Trump administration undermining the Affordable Care Act, undermining laws that were put in place, whether it's not advertising for uh, Obamacare markets or several other things they've done. And I thought that was interesting because they tied it back to something they see as as one of the top policy concerns of voters. The, the, The purpose of the House leadership is going to be to use these investigations, and as I said, there will be dozens of them, to send a message. In other words, all of these investigations are going to be laying the groundwork for the 2020 presidential elections.